essentials of a good day of fishing. What's up guys, my name is Anthony, I suck at fishing, but I'm just finishing up gassing my car because it's gonna be a long night. And I'm right off the exit to get onto the Sunshine Skyway Pier. And I'm actually gonna be spending the night on the pier. Now I gotta find a spot and we'll set up a bed so that I don't have to do that when I'm super tired. It's gonna be a good night. Structure here, structure on the other side. Hopefully some rocks over there. I have no idea if there are gonna be any fish here. But my goal is pretty similar to my goal in my last video, which is to catch something edible. If I don't catch at least one fish that's edible, I decided I'm not able to eat this unless I catch something that is edible. It's desirable, it can be like a catfish. A little bed area here for when I actually get tired. What we're fishing with today, this guy, as you can see, is a nice little spinning reel. And it's got a big cast of rod because I'm dumb. Oh, it's pulsing because it's dead. I'm really good at this stuff today. I was trying to figure that out with the light because it's a little bit grainier. I'll go talk in the headlights real quick. But I have two shrimp and a shrimp head left, so I'm gonna be fishing with those. And also there's cut pinfish. I think that if I use those cut pinfish, especially around all this structure, I might be able to get some grouper. I honestly don't know how to fish for grouper. If anybody has any tips on the Sunshine Skyway Pier, or if they wanna come fish with me here, please drop it in the comments below or reach out to me on Instagram. Super small hook. I'm gonna see if I can get a bait fish that I can throw out live. You don't have a lot of weight on the end of this. Four seconds in, I already lost my bait. There's small stuff, there might be big stuff. See if I can get a better visual. That's him. Ah! Do you guys know what he is? I have no idea. It looks kind of like a grunt, actually with the head, but I don't really know. I'm gonna let him go because I don't know what he is, and uh, I still got my bait, so maybe I can get another one, but that's a really neat looking fish. Oh, oh I got a little bit left. Something needs this. They're dumb. Oh, there's some dumb fish, but I'm even dumber. Yep, dumb. I have some shrimp gulp. They got a super old packet of fish fleet. Fish fleas? Sand, sand flea? Fish, fish bites. And then I also have this old packet of gulp that has no stuff left in it, but it does have the shrimp pretty hard now. Not looking very appetizing. I'm wondering if I chop them up, if those bait fish will eat it since it ate that little bit of that thing. So I'm gonna try to fish with this because then I won't have to use any of my actual shrimp. Very hard to get on. I'm hoping, I'm thinking that once it gets back in the water, it's gonna get some of its scent back. Oh, baby, that's a dumb fish! Yes! <laughs> it's a little snapper! I think it's a lane snapper. No way! Ah, buddy. Definitely too small to keep, but look at that guy! So pretty. Can't believe he ate that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, so it's not bait fish. Definitely can't keep a snapper that size, but that's really cool. I think it's a lane snapper. I'm not 100% sure if I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments or I'll correct myself on the video, but that's really cool. Dumb fish number one. I'm liking it. So I put on a little piece of pin fish. I caught another little lane snapper, but uh, like a little tiny piece, and then I got this little grunt guy. So this might be good to save and put on a bigger rod, see if I can't catch a grouper with them. I don't know if they eat this, but... Oh, got it. Oh. Oh. Too ambitious. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Come on. Got some shrimp, but I'm gonna actually use the pinfish instead. It's gonna stay on the hook a lot better. Awesome. See if there's anything on this and then launch all the other pinfish guys out. Oh, there is a good one! Yes! Oh. <laughs> I flipped him out of the water! Dang it! Dang it! Dang. Let that simmer and chill out a little bit. I'm gonna let them stack up, see how long they stay on. Oh, never mind. They kind of are calling my name. Whew. 
Wow, it is amazing how much better that other rod is. Oh, there he is. Oh, I missed him again. Maybe. Do I have one? Maybe. Man, this rod is... Whoa. I do not like using this rod anymore. Maybe that's why I didn't catch a lot of fish before. I mean, it, it has to do with my skills for sure. There's a snake. Oh, check this out. There's a snake down there. Isn't that neat? Look at that guy. He's just hanging out. I'm gonna catch one more bait fish and then I'm gonna launch out a bigger rock. There we go. Oh, it's Here he is. I think it's another one of that same fish from before. It's really pretty. I just don't know if it's good bait or even if it is that fish and I don't want to be wrong and uh, do something that might hurt the environment. So I'm going to throw him back and keep fishing for that last bait fish. Looks like there's a couple over here. I don't know if they're crabs or what, but I still see it. Let me show you what I'm looking at. So those little dots down there, like there and there. I see them moving like not with the current, which makes me think that they're crabs or something. I haven't like gotten a net to collapse over one. I don't even know if I've hit one yet. Probably is seaweed and I'm just being crazy. I'm so scared of crustaceans because I think they're going to pinch me. And they probably want to, so I'm going to get some wires. Oh, this looks like it's good bait. Ah, I'm so afraid of them. I swear to you, I'm a grown man, but I am so afraid of like touching them. I'm afraid they're going to pinch me. I know it like can't hurt that bad. Maybe it can. I don't even know. I really need someone to teach me how to do this. Honestly, I thought I was going crazy there for a hot second, but now I'm going to try to catch more of these because these might be even better bait right now. If someone knows what type of crab this is, please let me know. Because it doesn't look like a baby blue crab. Because it's only got the one. Unless the one came off. I'm going to do a little research real quick and make sure this isn't a baby blue crab. So I did just look it up and it looks like this guy might be a blue crab. I'm not exactly sure what he is. But it doesn't have like any blue on it at all. But it is open season. I just looked for blue crabs. I'm going to try to catch a couple more of these as bait. And maybe if I catch more I can get a better sample size to figure out exactly what type of crab this is. It was janky, but we got it done. Is that a little blue crab? Man, I don't know. I think it's gotta be. Super cool. Now that I see this one too, I think they are little blue crabs. So even though I think they might be good bait, I'm actually gonna let them both go. If I see any more big ones, cause I have seen some that are like eater size, like good size, I'll definitely try to catch those. No promises. So I just maybe accidentally found something really cool. I saw that the shadows, we're going this way, so the light was probably still over there, and I found a little green back. So I'm gonna try to cast that for some more bait, and I might switch sides for a lot of the rest of the fishing. And it seems to be less windy over there because the wind's at your back. I see some more crabs down there. Oh, there's a lot of stuff down there. That one looks bigger. Is that even a crab or is that just bubbles? Oh, I see some bigger fish down here. Now, let's see if we can snack some of them. Oh, yeah, they all scattered. Not the best of my casts ever. Did I see something in the net? Yes! Yeah! There we go. A couple little guys. Are these little greenbacks, I think? Yeah, greenbacks. Awesome. All right, let's go 10 casts. See how many I can get in 10 casts. That's a pretty good one. I could have swore I saw something in there. I feel like the mackerel would love them. That was not a great cast. Oh, for two. Good cast, good cast. I thought I saw something. It was just a reflection of the water. Of course it was. Over three. Over four. Good cast. Yes. I got one on cast number five. Fishy. Good stuff. All right, one for six. Oh, that taco. Good cast, good cast, good cast. Come on, come on, come on. Dang. 
Dang it. Pass number 10. Nothing again. Gosh, I'm bad. Let's go fish with poles. Maybe I can be a little better at that one. Four and one for 10, I was about to throw this guy out. Let's see real fast if he's got fish catching abilities. Well, I have tangle abilities, that's for sure. I don't even know how I did that, honestly. Oh, here we go. Get some baby bites. Both of my hooks got baited. I'll let that sit. I'm gonna make something for that, uh, those greenbacks and stuff. 50 pound. I'll use that for the live guys. Probably overkill. I don't really know. Do you get the feeling I don't know a lot? Because I get that feeling. This is what we're working with. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. Come on. Yes. 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 Good stuff. Nice, nice, nice. What is this? Awesome! Oh, yes! That's a better fish! That's just the bigger grunt. Now that's an eater size for sure! Yes! Oh, so cool! Yes! I got an eater. Unfortunately, it still doesn't qualify because it's not like one of those desirable eater species. We are adding to our feast. They just have such small mouths, even those bigger ones. Alrighty. Oh, that's such a much better eater fish. I'm hoping that I catch a snapper that size or bigger. Because I think that was 10 inches. That was like bigger than all the snappers I caught. It's kind of almost dead, so I'll take that. Got my weights. My swivel. Now, this guy, I'm just going to hook him behind the head here. Ah. The good thing about these circle hooks is you can kind of set them out there a little because they will set in the fish's mouth. So I'm just going to leave it out there. And if I see something coming to hit it, hopefully it'll hook itself. Oh, yeah. Come on. No. Ah, oh, nothing. It was getting bit though. It's getting nippy. <laughs> Dang, that was stuck. Oh, fish, fish. Got to remember to try not set the hook on this one. Just let him eat. I really want to catch one. <laughs> I don't know the last time I've caught a fish on a bait fish that I caught. Yes, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Yes, yes, yes. I just want my leader back. I don't want to have to retie. This guy right here. All right, here is. This is the fish right here. Oh, did I miss him? Yeah, I definitely missed him. This guy got pecked up hard. All right, we're gonna save him for some cup bait and put on a new live one. Don't catch any fish here soon. I might call it a night. Wake up with the sun and try again. Something's nibbling away. Come on, dude. Dang it. Gonna give myself a couple more minutes. Nothing's really doing on that other rod. Check that real quick. If it's baited, I'll send out a couple more casts with this one and call it a night. Definitely is baited. Great. Good to know. I can just hold on to my fishies until tomorrow. I'm not going to put them in the water. I'm going to put them like next to slash under my car because I'm kind of afraid someone will come and grab them. Dang it, man. He was on there. Little nibbles, that's all. Okay, there you go. Bigger. Better. Better. Yes! It's a way to end the night. Little baby grunty grunt. Since you helped me go to bed, buddy. I'm gonna let you go. Have a good life. Hopefully you grow up to be like that bigger one I caught earlier that I can eat. I am gonna put this in the water. I don't think anyone would take it, but... People are crazy. 
coming soon. Easy. Just checked, it's 12, 12. See you guys bright early in the morning. Hey guys, Editor Anthony here. I just want to thank you so much for checking out this video. I know it was a little bit all over the place and that's because this is actually supposed to be the first half of the video, but it ended up just being so much stuff that I wanted to include that I split it into two parts. So the next part is going to be going live next week. So subscribe to stay tuned for that because that video is titled, I quit my job to start the worst fishing channel on YouTube. And I'm going to explain exactly why I quit my job to do this and what the channel is going to be all about. That's also going to be that next day like I talk about in this video because I am just going to be waking up and starting to fish until I have to go grab my wife. But the last video that I put out was a little bit on the longer side as well. It's 25 minutes long, but it's a lot of really fun content of me catching just a ton of fish in Sarasota, Florida. And so check that out right over here because I actually lost my wedding ring because of a ladyfish. So I'll see you guys in that video. Subscribe and stay tuned for the next one. I really appreciate you guys for hanging out. Peace.